Welcome back. Today, we're talking about Julian Alfred from St. Lucia. Now, 2022 was a massive breakout season for Alfred in the 100 meter dash. She's been building up to what she eventually accomplished in this year. Now, we're going to dive into her season, what she was able to do this year, and why she's not only going to be a serious medal threat in 2023, but also one of the top athletes in history in the 100 meters for years to come. So let's dive into her 2022, but what was her personal best entering the season? Well, she had a 100 meter best of 11.39 seconds from all the way back in 2019. She had not improved her personal best since then until the 2022 season. Back in 2019, she had run that 11.39 seconds at Arkansas in the middle of the season competing for Texas. She had also run 11.21 seconds, just barely wind aided, 2.1 meters per second at the Big 12 Conference Championships. Now, she didn't go to the NCAA Championships that year, and looking at her 2020, she had a very good indoor season 2020, running 7.1 seconds in the 100 meter dash, 7.13, so 7.15 a couple times. She was very consistent. Of course, the season got canceled, but that did not derail her. Let's take a look at this 2022 season and what she was able to do. Now, indoors, she was absolutely dominating. 7.10, equaling her 60 meter personal best from a couple years back. Then she also ran the NCAA record of 7.04 seconds in the heats at NCAA championships. Now, she unfortunately only finished fifth place in the finals, so didn't really replicate that performance, but this really boded well for what she was going to be doing outdoors in the 100 meter dash. Let's take a look. First meet of the season, 11.07 seconds, already setting a personal best. Now, her personal best was 11.39 from 2019, so she had some years that you know she was building up to get to this time, so very, very nice personal best to open up the season, and she just keeps on rolling. 10.98 seconds at the Mount Sac relays, plus 1.7 meters per second to get the win at this meet here, breaking 11 seconds for the very first time. Also should note, she has the St. Lucia national record right that is long gone she already had it you know with the 11.39 but breaking 11 seconds for the first time was a big deal that wasn't it though she goes to the big 12 conference championships and runs 10.81 seconds in the heats 10.81 seconds that was one of the fastest times in the world at that point that was a huge performance. You're talking about someone running 10.81 seconds in the NCAA and they're 21 years old. This was amazing performance for her. In the finals, she ran 10.80 seconds, but it was wind aided 2.4 meters per second. Went to the NCAA West prelims, replicated what she just did. 10.80 seconds plus 2.2 meters per second tailwind. So again, over the allowable, but she's already proved she can run 10.81, right? So we know that this is no fluke. She is being extremely consistent consistent gets those ncaa championships and she shows up getting some redemption from that indoor fifth place 10.90 in the heats legal performance and then 11.02 seconds in that final to get the ncaa championship title that she has been looking for for a couple years now amazing performance for her now she goes down to the Caribbean Games, the U23 Caribbean Games, uh, gets the win there, 11.07 seconds. She noted that this was just a warm up for the World Championships. Again, she was going to be one of the few athletes representing St. Lucia at the World Championships, and she had actually had a very good shot to, you know, get into the final and maybe even medal, spoil the party. You know, of course, you know the Jamaicans were really dominating, but considering what she had been running this year, 10.81, Wendy's 10.80, 10.80, she's been really hitting off some good times at those world championships 11.05 in the heats and then came the semifinals now she unfortunately got caught up in this you know false start that happened to both her that happened to uh Taina Gaither that happened to Devin Allen she had a reaction time I think it was 0.992 or something like that like just under that point you know that 1.0 you know allowable limit whatever she unfortunately got disqualified she was super disappointed but she was coming back for the Commonwealth Games in just a couple weeks, and this was gonna be her time for a little bit of redemption. At the Commonwealth Games, wins both her heat and the semifinal, and then in the final, 11.01 seconds to take second place behind Elaine Thompson Hira at the Commonwealth Games, getting that silver medal. This was a huge performance for Julian Alfred as it was her first medal, her first major championship medal. Of course, Commonwealth Games is not the world championships, but a major medal for her. 
And this is boding well for what she's gonna be able to do in subsequent years. Now, let's take a look at where she stood in 2022 with her 100 meter personal best of 10.81 seconds. In 2022, she made it to number five in the world this year. This was a major accomplishment. Look at the ladies that she was just behind. Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Sharika Jackson, Talu, Thompson Hira. She was just behind those ladies, equal with Aaliyah Hobbs. This is not, you know, a small group of women who are, you know, some afterthoughts. These are world champions, Olympic champions, African record holder, right? These are the top women in the history of the event. And Julian Alfred is finishing uh, number five in the world this year. Amazing performance for her coming right out of college. What about all time? Well, Julian Alfred's 10.81 seconds in the 100 meter dash ranks her number 25 all time in the history of the 100 meters. This is a woman who is coming straight out of Texas, out of the NCAA, already running 10.81 seconds. She's 21 years old, and this is her ranking number 25 all time. She has a long way to go. Now, of course, there's a couple ladies ahead of her who, you know, ran time super fast when they were young, right? From Shakira Richardson when she was still a freshman at LSU, right? Even, um, you know, I think someone of like Dawn Sowell back in the 1980s, right? She was super young coming out of college when she ran her 10.78. But we're talking about right now, Julian Alfred running 10.81 seconds. She also ran windy times of 10.80, 10.80, 10.90. Again, she set off her season with a personal best and all of her top times in the 100 meters came from this year, from 2022. Julian Alfred is going to be one of the top athletes going into 2023 and for years to come. Again, she is only 21 years old and she very well may likely be St. Lucia's first athlete to ever win a world championship medal in the 100 meter dash. Do not sleep on Julian Alfred. I think she's going to be one of the top women to look out for for years to come. So let me know what you think about Julian Alfred and her 2022 season. Do you think she's going to be able to not only replicate some of her 10-8 performances in the 100 meter but even get down to 10 sevens maybe even faster do you think she's gonna medal at the world championships next year maybe the olympics in 2024 let me know what you think make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel we'll be back again next time thanks